So why use penetrating oil to free up those rusty nuts and bolts when you can just use plain water? I've had quite a few viewers suggest that water is actually better at freeing up rusty nuts and bolts than penetrating oil and that penetrating oil is nothing but a bunch of snake oil. So today we're going to find out whether or not water is truly better. Additionally, we tested other brands in previous videos and Liquid Wrench as well as Seafoam came out on top in their respective showdowns. So today's winner will advance to the next level which will include a showdown of the three top brands. So let's get the testing on the way and see which product is the best. Do penetrating fluids actually work? We have three separate tests to find out. In the first test, we'll be seeing if penetrating oils actually creep. I drilled and tapped a one inch piece of plexiglass and then oxidized the bolts. We'll be placing the rusty wheel stud lugs in the penetrating oil and comparing just how well they creep up the bolt and through the plexiglass. Unfortunately, sometimes penetrating oils have to travel vertically or horizontally in order to do their job. So the question is, which one of these products will do the best at climbing a bolt? So what I'm gonna do is place these six metal dowels inside of the penetrating oil as well as water and diesel fuel to see which product works the best. I'll be using one half inch wheel stud lugs and nuts torqued to 80 foot pounds. After putting these in position, I applied a mix of chemicals that caused rust and I applied the chemical 50 to 60 times over several weeks. In a previous video, we applied penetrating oil over the nuts and bolts three different times over three hours. However, I had a lot of viewers inform me that that's not very realistic. So instead, we'll be applying it only once and giving these products one hour to do their job. The first four bolts, we won't apply anything. That'll be our control. Then the next four will be water, then diesel, and then so on and so forth until we have all the products applied. A lot of viewers suggest that water is actually better than penetrating oil. So I had a lot of viewers request that I test diesel. Apparently diesel is known for being very effective as a penetrant. So 3-in-1 oil has been around since 1894. It's a multi-purpose oil that's designed to lubricate, penetrate, rust, and clean. A lot of viewers request we test Freol. Does it actually eat rust? It claims it does. It also claims to be a deep penetrating oil. Penetrates rust, scale, and corrosion to free parts and assemblies instantly. I had a ton of requests to test Gibbs, and there are a lot of adjectives on this can to describe just how good it is. It's a mega penetrant, it's an ultra lubricant, and it's a corrosion inhibitor, water repellent, and a metal protector. Mouse Milk Penetrating Oil claims to be muscle in a hustle for speedy help in the removal of rusted and frozen studs, nuts, and bolts, frees up cables, slides, and linkages. Mouse Milk is unsurpassed in rust removal, particularly from studs, bolts, nuts, cable, slides, and aircraft linkage. Mouse Milk has amazing creeping ability. It takes extremes of heat and cold without separating. The bolt and the nut look like they've been thoroughly coated with water. There's a little bit of water remaining on the washer. The four bolts with diesel are clearly coated with it and it looks like it's done a pretty good job. 3-in-1 oil definitely appears to have the highest viscosity of all the products we're testing. It is thoroughly coated the entire nut and bolt. Free all's done a very good job of coating the nut and bolt as well. There's actually some free all that's made it all the way down to the washer. The Gibbs has made it all the way down to the washer. It doesn't have quite as much viscosity as the free all or the 3-in-1. And the last one is the mouse milk and it has made it all the way down to the washer it has a very low viscosity as well. So it'll be interesting to see how much penetrating oil has made it into each one of the nuts and bolts. While all the penetrating oils are doing their job for the next hour, let's move on to our next test. In the next test, we're gonna see if any of these penetrating oils can creep up a vertical surface. So what we're gonna be doing is placing these rusty bolts inside a penetrating fluid as well as water and diesel and leave it in there for 24 hours to see if any of the fluids can climb up the bolt and reach the plexiglass. If it can reach the plexiglass, will it actually penetrate all the way up through to the top? It's been about five minutes since we placed these in the fluid, so I wanna take a quick look at them to see how they're doing. The mouse milk has started to climb the bolt. All I can say is, wow, Gibbs has already climbed all the way up to the plexiglass in about five minutes. So this penetrating oil seems to be very good at creeping vertical surfaces. Free oil has also done a very good job, although not quite as good as Gibbs. Okay, 3-in-1 oil doesn't look to be quite as good as free oil, but it's still doing a pretty good job of climbing a vertical surface. Okay, diesel has actually done a pretty good job of climbing this bolt. It's all the way up to the plexiglass as well. So between Gibbs and diesel, they both have reached the plexiglass. 
Unfortunately, water has not done a very good job at all. All the penetrating oils as well as diesel have done a better job of climbing the bolt. So we're gonna give this 24 hours. It's been right at an hour, so we're gonna go ahead and begin loosening these rusty lug nuts to see which product works the best. So what I'm going to do now is remove each one of the nuts to see if we can find any visible evidence that the water and the penetrating fluids did their job. So from our control you can see how dry this is. So what we do now is compare water against the control to see if we find any visible evidence that water penetrated the nut. It doesn't appear that the water did any sort of penetration. Even though the diesel left an oily film all over the nuts and bolts, there's no visible sign that it penetrated the rust. Three-in-one obviously did a better job than diesel. As you can see, there is some three-in-one that penetrated at the base of the nut, as well as at the very edge of where the threads come together with the nut. Freeall seems to have done a slightly better job than three-in-one oil at penetrating the rust. Gibbs seems to have done a little bit better job than free all as far as making penetration at both ends of the nut. While not quite as good as Gibbs, it appears that mouse milk did a pretty good job at making penetration at both ends of the nut. Unfortunately, gravity doesn't always work in our favor when it comes to using penetrating oils. So what I'm gonna do is place these six metal dowels inside of the penetrating oil as well as water and diesel fuel to see which product works the best. So can penetrating oils climb a vertical surface? Absolutely. Compared to the 30 minute mark, the penetrating oils and the diesel have made a lot of progress climbing the rusty steel pins in the past 24 hours. Moving from left to right, the mouse milk moved about an inch and a quarter up the pin. The Gibbs has gone up about an inch and a half. Free all looks like it's gone up about an inch and a quarter. Three in one did not do quite as good as free all, about an inch and an eighth. Diesel has gone up nearly two inches, although it did do the most as far as climbing. Just because something can climb a vertical surface doesn't mean it's gonna be a good penetrating oil. Unfortunately, water just did not do very good at all. It may have gone up about a quarter of an inch. 
So we know all the products except for water is capable of climbing the vertical surface and reaching the plexiglass. So the question is, could any of the products begin to penetrate the rust climbing vertically? Well, we're about to find out. So the mouse milk actually climbed all the way up the bolt and began penetrating the rusty threads. Gibbs has actually done a little bit better than mouse milk, going about a quarter of an inch up the threads. Frio also did a very good job climbing all the way up and beginning to penetrate the threads. It looks like it went up the threads about an eighth of an inch. Okay, 3-in-1 actually did a very good job climbing up at least a quarter inch, close to a third of an inch up the thread. So 3-in-1 did a very respectable job. Okay, Diesel actually made it into the threads by about a quarter of an inch. All right, obviously water didn't reach the edge of the plexiglass, so there's no point in having this removed. Gibbs came in first place, followed by Friol, and then Mouse Milk. As we saw in the Vertical Climb Challenge, it takes time for these products to work, but the top three products did a great job considering they only had one hour to do their job. So when it comes time to bust loose those rusty nuts and bolts, I definitely recommend a penetrating oil over water. Unfortunately, water just did not do very well. I was really impressed with how well Gibbs did though. Gibbs did a terrific job winning this showdown. And of course, Free All came in a second place as well as Mouse Milk third. Each brand doing a very good job. Now in the past we tested Liquid Wrench, it won its respective showdown, and then Seafoam Deep Creep won the second series showdown. So next up we'll be having a showdown with these three top brands. I've already got the wheel stud lugs and lug nuts ready to go. I'll have to go ahead and weld these in place and begin the rusting process. That process of rusting takes a couple of months. 100% of the videos on this channel are viewer recommended. So please keep those recommendations coming and I'll keep making videos. Please take care and I look forward to next time.